Yeah, man. You can complain about NHS all you want, but sitting and complaining about it's not going to do anything. You got that girl making that video, doing the rounds and that, cussing off Richie Sunak and that. Bob, you can say all these hateful comments towards Rishi Sunak. You can say whatever you want about this country. When your head hits the pillow, you are still going to be in the same position when you wake up in the morning. So crying on TikTok and moaning about Rishi Sunak and the NHS and DWP and PIP and PIMP and that blood. When you wake up in the morning, you're still going to be broke. Put that same energy. You see that energy that girl's putting out there? Those tears, that's, that's energy. It's not the right energy. But it's energy. If she just put that energy into making something of herself, she wouldn't be crying and complaining. I promise you, I'll put my fucking life on it. I know that girl is no lawyer, no doctor, no banker, no solicitor, no fucking five-time property owner, no business owner. I think she works, but she's definitely at the bottom of the social economic scale. Do you know why? Because she didn't put in the work. She did not put in the work. Do not feel sorry for those people. When they had the opportunity to, because she's not that old, probably younger than me. I'm 31, she's probably younger than me. She had the opportunity to go to uni, you know. She had the opportunity to go to a college and get some sort of skill. I'm not going to say trade because I don't expect women to be fucking plumbers and electricians and that. She had the opportunity in that. But she thought, nah, I'll leave it. It's not for me. Fucking dumbass. I don't feel sorry for none of these people, man. You know how much people in other countries would love to be over here so that they could get themselves educated and that. There's people coming over here from Romania who are like engineers fucking working in Asda and that. Yeah? You've got people in other countries, let's say like in Africa and India and that. You've got people who are doctors they're qualified doctors in Africa and India, but they fucking work in restaurants because there's more money in tips than being a fucking doctor. You know? So real talk. And you got these fucking dumbasses in this country that can't even bother to study in college for three years. And then they want to complain about Rishi Sunak. And I'm like, fuck all of them. They deserve to freeze in their house, blood. As harsh as it seems, I don't care because there's people in eastern parts of Europe Africa, India, that would love to be in our position and we're wasting the opportunity. And trust me, people might think Eastern Europe is like the UK. No, it's not. Certain parts of Eastern Europe is like white man's Africa. Trust me, them lot are really living in the ghetto. Blood. Yeah? Go go check out... Um, oh, you'll have to subscribe to the Patreon and that. No, actually, to be fair, I think there is a video where I've done the reaction video to... The Romanians are coming, and I think it's on my YouTube channel. I'm sure episode two is coming out, or is already out on Patreon and that. But anyway, the Romanians are coming. It's talking about how the Romanians have come over here and that. And there's a guy that's working in the UK. This guy works at the car wash for like 12 hours, gets paid some idiot money, like £50 for the day doing, doing 12 hours and that. And the motherfucker has to sleep underneath a bridge. And to add insult to injury, the rats eat his food. The guy said it on camera, he's like, oh, the rats, the rats eat my food. Yeah? But you got people over here born in this country and that, and they don't want to make something of themselves. So, dumbass, man. I don't feel safe for none of these people. There's guys right now, yeah, who are 60 years old. 50 years old and that, been working in a fucking local hardware store for 20 years. And at some point, the topic of university came up. And a man said, ah, oh, who needs to go to university? And ah, oh, it's a waste of time. I I'm all right. I I'm all right working in this hardware store for 20 years. I've got food in my fridge. I've got electricity. I could turn on the heat in if I decide to. You know, people that miss stingy with heat. Hold on, let me turn on the heat in one sec, bro. Yeah? A man decided, nah, you know what? I, I ain't going to bother go to go to um, university in there. I, I know a couple people. They went to university and they haven't even got a job in that field. In that. But they forget. If you go to buy a property, 
you go to a conveyancing solicitor. God forbid you get in trouble by the police, then you get yourself a criminal defense solicitor. If you get sick, you go to a doctor. When you were in school, you was educated by a teacher. All four of them people there, they all went to university. You know? So how the fuck can university be a waste of time? Yeah? You hopefully, yeah, you will come across all three of those people, yeah, in a lifetime. Forget about the criminal defense lawyer, innit? Yeah. But you will come across a teacher, hopefully educated. I mean, if you go your whole life without ever seeing a doctor, you probably only live to the age of two. Yeah. And hopefully you you have to come across a um conveyancing solicitor because you bought a property or two. All of them people there, they've all been educated yeah, at university in that. So don't listen to these pricks that talk about university is a waste of time because they know one waste man that's got a degree that don't mean nothing and he's not ambitious. I know man right now, and people like to diss business degrees. I know man right now who's got a business degree and they're fucking a project manager for a bank. They get paid 500 pound a day. Probably self-employed, obviously. They get paid 500 pound a day. So don't, no, no, no one dares say that university is a waste of time. It's only a waste of time you think on a fucking ambition. Education without ambition is like a car with no wheels. You're not going to go nowhere. I notice, like, a lot of working class parents, they like to demonise university. For one, they're not educated, so therefore they're probably not going to have friends who are educated. And for two, I feel like slightly, some working class parents who are uneducated and that, they don't want their child to go to university because they're scared that they're going to fucking look down on them. I've spoken to you, lot, told you lot plenty of times in my videos, there's parents out here, they don't want their kid to go to private school because they're like, ah, oh, I don't want them to look down on me and that. Damn, you want your son or your daughter to be better than you. If we had that mentality, we'd still be in a fucking cave. Yeah. Then the, the next generation is supposed to be a little bit better. Yeah. I want my son to be better than me. I want my son to be bigger than me, stronger than me, better looking than me, more intelligent than me, everything better. Obviously, if he tries to think, I'll smack him up and let him know who the fuck's boss in it. But what I'm saying is, I still want my son to be the better version of me. Yeah. All the mistakes I've made, I'll make sure my son don't have to make those silly mistakes. Wow, 37 fucking comments.